Always consult your physician before attempting any physical exercise. By watching any part of this video, you expressly agree to release and discharge the producers and trainers and waive any right and legal action for personal injury or property damage. When in the Los Angeles area, train at MuayThaiAmerica.net. Today, Cole and I are going to work on teeth and knees, okay? And basically, teeth is, is tied for push kick. And as we push kick out, it's probably the number one defense for Muay Thai. In teeth, you can, can, you can control the distance with the teeth. So, <clears throat> many people call this the foot jab. Just like a jab and punching, you use the teeth to set the distance apart and control the distance because it's a straight line attack. So if you tee out and I get hit with that tee, boom, it's hard for me to move in. All right, so that tee here, boom, uh -huh. boom. And usually aim at the midsection. And what we do, it's not like a, the karate type of thrust kick. Again, it's just usually bang, snap out here. Control the distance with that, all right? We'll go through the different methods Keeping different distance, different types of control for that. And also we'll work on the knees. Basically we're working on walk knees, okay? Walk knee, knee. But as we get closer, we usually use different types of knees such as grab knee, clinch knee, lock knee, many different types of knees too. So on the very basic level of Muay Thai, people think there's just one type of push kick or one type of knee. You'll see there's many, many different types and we're gonna go through those various different types today. All right, close jumping rope right now. <clears throat> Here I'm just shadow boxing, just moving loose. Mm -hmm. Get those limbs moving, okay? Good, uh-huh. Later I'm using the teeth. Well, I'm using the knee too, okay, all right. Base, in the basic level, we try to teach the walk knee, swinging the hand down. Here, Victor. Put that your teeth, push out here. Teeth push out, pull. Push your foot. <clears throat> Tuck the foot back on the knee. Okay? And don't drop the hand so much, okay? Don't drop the hand so much. Boom, uh -huh. Boom, there you go, good. The thing we're gonna do is make sure our shoulders are loose here. See here, I'm just flopping my shoulders there. Rolling the shoulders back. Rolling them inward. Good. Bring them in. There you go. Uh huh. Alright, good stuff. Okay. Basic push kick, okay? And so we already know that we're ready. Many of you guys have already been training with us. You know our basic push kick. We're the same hand, same leg comes down. There you go, good, uh huh? Let's try the right side. One, uh huh? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good, uh huh? Second one, left teeth, boom, uh -huh. and one, uh -huh. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good step, okay? So you see Cole here, he's push, using the teeth push kick, and the thing he's doing right here, he's putting his hip into the kick. So his hip rocks forward. And many people think that you're actually leaning backwards, but really if you look up at my back here, my back stays, but only my butt moves forward. Yeah, right. it is so as you shoe. push forward here, all right? Yeah, you can do it here. 
As you push forward, boom, okay, the hip rocks forward. And if you don't rock that hip here, so you can keep it short, this one's longer, okay? So let's talk about the different types of ranges you can use the teeth, okay? All right? So here you use your teeth, you're pushing, bang, uh huh? Yeah, uh huh? Bang, you do it. And that's your, that's your regular teeth, man. But you can do a longer teeth, which we call side teeth, okay? Side teeth, there's two different ways to do it, okay? One, toe up. Okay, and one toe to the side there, working a longer teeth, all right? So we're gonna work that, okay, and we'll try that together. So here in that short teeth here, 
lot of times when the fighters are trying to get steering wheel control, so here you're trying to get like, and we have our hands here, and you use that teeth, push them off, okay? So we're gonna try that short oblique teeth, all right? a lot of damage power. It's just used to control the distance. So it has to be fast and snappy, okay? All right, two. There you go, good, uh-huh. Three. There good, uh-huh. Four. Uh-huh, good. Five. good. Six. Seven. Try not to move the body too much, okay? Boom, uh huh. Okay. So try not to like swing over, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Eight. Uh -huh. Good, uh huh. Uh -huh. Nine. Good, uh huh. And ten. There you go, good, okay? Again, we don't usually do it from the front side, okay? Although you can, but it's not a good position because there's not enough heat on the mm -hmm. kick, okay? But also, uh, we want to, again, just use to control the distance, all right? So Cole just brought up an interesting point about teeping to the face, okay, all right? And and Thai culture, and especially in a fight, is very disrespectful, okay? So, the one, one of the reasons why you see fighters climb over the ropes is because the head is considered very holy, and the feet is considered very lowly because it's dirty, okay? So when the fighters cl climb over the ropes, their feet is never higher than their head, okay? All right? And so, um, and then in Thai culture, if you point somebody at your feet or whatever, or you point your feet at somebody, it's very disrespectful. Even if you're sitting down and going like this, your foot is pointing to somebody. So if you push kick to someone's face, okay, that is considered one of the most uh, biggest insults because it's the dir dirtiest part of my feet hitting the holiest part of you, okay? And so when you teach somebody in the face, it's like slapping or spitting someone in the face, you know, and uh, just get ready for a war, okay, yeah. <laughs> when you do that. <laughs> All right, which brings us to our next technique. We're gonna push kick to the face, teeth to the face, okay? So in this technique here, all right, what we want to do, when we aim that push kick to the face, we want to make sure that the knee travels, knee starts high, okay, all right? So I bring that knee high, and as I'm kicking, it goes high. And that way, I can push kick out. That. So what I don't want to do is start the knee low, and then try to bring it up. It's very difficult to do. So the higher your knee goes, the easier it is to kick high. And it's almost used as a trajectory point for your push kick, okay? All right, we'll try that one. All right, Cole, we're gonna start with the right foot, okay? All right, right feet, uh -huh. Good, Ooh, it's higher than that, all right. There you go, good, uh-huh. Don't lose balance, uh-huh, good, uh-huh. Again, we wanna try to make that long, okay? So rock the hip forward a little bit, uh-huh. Uh -huh. There you go, good. Good, high push kick. There you go, good. You notice when I'm holding the pad, I give a little bit of an angle for that, so we can catch that and see if we get a positive flow on that. Uh-huh, nice, good. Mm -hmm. High teeth. Nice, good, uh-huh. Good, again. Good, uh-huh, good. And so now we're gonna go on the left side, okay? That high teeth. Uh-huh, good. Control the hands. Uh-huh, good. Good, forward more. There you go, good. Uh -huh. How far should I let this over? So usually, we, well, in the beginning, we try to tell the, fight, the students to drop the arm, swing it. But after you feel comfortable with it, it should just very, just very casually just drop, okay? And with little resistance. Uh, for me, I like to keep it high so we can still retract the strike afterwards and defend. 
Okay, left side. Pop, there you go, good. Mm -hmm. Again. Pop, I'm uh -huh, good, all right. Here we're gonna alternate left side and right side, okay? Pop, uh -huh. pop, there you go, good. Uh -huh. Yeah. Pop, pop, hey, very good. Okay, bring the knee a little bit higher. Okay, and that way the kick doesn't come upward. Try to shoot a little bit straighter, okay? Yep. There you go, good. Point the toe out a little bit, okay? There you go, good. And when I land the second one, is it okay if my foot lands in front? Yeah, I I absolutely, absolutely. The most important thing is try to get back into balance. No matter if your foot is left, uh, right or left foot is back, okay? All right, good. So now we we'll go right, left, okay? There you go, good. Uh -huh. Right, left. Uh-huh, nice, good. And right, left. Nice, good. One more. Oh, hey, nice stuff, good stuff, good stuff, okay? Let's go two on the right. There you go, good, uh-huh. Two on the left, uh-huh, good. Two on the right, uh-huh, good. Two on the left, uh-huh, good. Okay, again, uh-huh, uh-huh, good. So Cole had an interesting question about the about the toes and worry about the toes being jammed or right, actually push kick. And so as you tip, you obviously you want to roll the toes back, but use the ball of the foot here. Okay, all right. The high kick you can use the heel. All right, but uh, make sure you know that your that's a different kick. Kind of arcs upward, tries to hit underneath the chin. All right. But um, so my trainer, my my pet. He actually teeps and he actually keeps the toes tucked back like this, okay? So the toes are jab, jabbing into the person's stomach, all right? Sucking the air out of them. My toes are not that strong, so I, I can't do that way. It jams on my foot, but his is like, he comes here, boom, jams that toe right in there, all right? Hurts me, but you know, if you've been walking barefoot since you were in diapers, <laughs> I guess your toes are strong enough, okay? All right, the next drill Cole and I are gonna do is based on timing, okay? And timing always is gonna be the answer. The teep is almost like a universal defense here. So here, take your stance here, all right? So when I punch here, you teep, boom, see how he can control the distance. Bang, uh-huh, bang, good. And not only teep can set your distance apart for, for um, punches, but also for kicks because here, bang, I'm on one foot here. Boom, and he has forward momentum. Uh-huh, bop, uh-huh. He can stop me from my kicks from coming forward just by taking to the body itself, okay? All right, so we do that timing drill here, okay? All right, let me reset our clock. Doesn't matter which teep I throw or just? No, so you just throw whatever teep you're balanced for, because, okay. again, it's just, this is uh, more like just trying to get, get the, um, Stop me from coming forward, controlling the distance, okay? All right. Also, the third way you want to do it, let's say here, Cole and I are in position, nobody is striking, all right? And I just want to just reset the action. I'll keep them away, then we have to reset, reset and find, find our distance again, okay? All right, so here. Sheesh, hey, we. Hey, good, uh huh. Uh -huh. Try to slide in. Up. There you go. Good. Good. And you notice on that deep here, because of the speed of it, you can't take that step. He just has to throw and slide the standing foot just a little bit. Okay? Uh -huh. Good. Uh -huh. There you go. Good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm.
Uh -huh, good. And you see how when you throw the teeth, you have to have that retraction because if you miss and fall forward, it's going to be an uh, advantage to me, okay? Uh, good timing, uh huh. Push it, you go. Push it, good. Good. Push it, yeah. Push it, yeah. So that's the opponent's going to try to parry, okay? If you, you see that push kick coming, uh huh. Push it, good, uh huh. Push it, or he's going to try to catch. <laughs> all right, that's why you need good snap on it, all right? So as soon as you teep back, all right, fold it back, okay? All right, so we don't want to teep. Land forward, fold the teep back. There you go, good. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. There you go, good. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. good. Good. See how fast that push kick is? And I can't even reach him with my hands. Uh huh, good. Fish it, good. Fish it, fish it, good. Very nice, very nice. Uh -huh. And you see, Cole gets back on position, back in his balance fast. And when he does, he can throw those multiple teeps at the same time. Uh huh. Fish it, fish it. Fish it, fish it, fish it, good, uh huh. Fish away, good, uh huh. Ah, uh huh, hey, yeah. Ah, way, hey, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, uh huh, good, uh huh. Ah, way. Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, good stuff. Good work. Okay, so the next series of teeth we're going to do, all right, it's going to be control teeth, all right? And so, as we do as we do teeth, we know what targets we've actually hit so far. You hit the cord and try to control the center, okay? You're going to teeth to the face. But we can actually teeth to the thigh itself, okay? Or to the hip, uh-huh. Or if you kick, uh-huh, bang, I can teeth to the striking leg too, all right? So it requires a lot more timing, but, then, but when you do, okay, you can control your opponent, all right? So let's just do the first one first, all right? Teep to the thigh, uh-huh, boom, uh-huh, yeah, ah, uh-huh, good. So when he teeps to the thigh, see, he can control my kick here, boom, uh-huh. Also, he can just control, just, if he just laid it out there. If I just laid here, he can just control. So just leave, leave your foot out, uh-huh, good, uh-huh, uh-huh. See, it's too low for me to parry, okay? And I don't want to parry this, okay, all right? Okay, so here he let, so use your front foot here. There you go, uh huh? So lay here, there you go, uh huh? So here, so do, so here, uh huh? So sorry, uh huh? So here, you can control front, okay, or rear, uh huh? Because what it does, see, it buckles my leg back a little bit, okay? You can control. And the same token here, all right? I can control here. I can leave my toe here just to balance here, okay? All right, before I decide what I want to do. All right, boom, kick, whatever you want. Use that one on the knee, on the thigh first to control, okay? All right. So with that one, should I, I, I should be able to more with my arms, right? Yeah, yeah, I mean, you can control with the front of your foot, sometimes sideways, front, back, you know, but wherever you can get the control. And just remember here, like if you, see my thigh here, see I, can get out of it quick too. I can just move my foot back. But usually, you can do that for somebody who's just really in stalemate position. Okay, all right, so here, uh huh. Good, uh huh, just stay. Boom, good, uh huh. Uh huh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. good, good. And see, it's a little bit easier what we call using the parallel side here. So when Cole's doing that here, uh huh, his right foot against my left thigh. Boom, uh huh. Yeah. Boom. Ah, uh -huh. 
except you have a lot more surface to control, okay? Whereas the thigh, you can slip off, okay? All right, but the hip, you have a little bit more control. The only drawback on the hip is when you control the hip here, uh -huh, good. You can, they can grab and pair your leg, okay? All right, so just know that there's a, you, there are advantages and disadvantages to every technique and every tie, okay? All right, so here we use the hip control. Uh -huh. There you go, good. A little more heat on there. Ah, there you go, good. Uh -huh. So in this here, and uh, you see American Muay Thai fights, and people use that hip control. A lot of them fake that they're like being hit in the groin. You know, so. But just be aware of that. Okay? Not in Thailand. Okay. There you go, good. Uh -huh. Yeah, you can. You can you know, side face and lead. It's up to straight. You know. Actually, so try straight first. I'm straight. There you go. Good. Straight's pretty neutral. You can get a good pop on the side. Uh -huh. Try that one oblique. Ah, uh -huh. good. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oblique usually, uh, if you do, usually you do more of that arch in the heel. Perfect in there. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh -huh. Go hip. Ah. Uh ah. -huh. Uh -huh. Good. All right. See that? Controls my hip here. Uh huh. Good. And see here, all right, so we can do it again, uh-huh. And push it off. Dang, good, uh-huh. Gets that distance, okay, all right. So now just lay the foot here, uh-huh, leave it there. Boom, uh-huh. And then here, push off, uh-huh. Push off, there you go. Hey, good, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Good. So you can't, again, again, if we're in steering wheel position here, Clinch here. Hey, good. Okay. All right. You see here when we start to go into clinch here. Uh huh. So you have to go clinch here. I push him. Get away. All right. He's so tall. All right. All right. To here. Mm -hmm. Go to clinch here. I push here. Boom. Uh huh. I still have knee straight knee. If I'm able to fold him forward. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. So 
you try the left tee to the hip. Uh -huh. There you go, good. Uh -huh. See that one's a little easier here. Uh -huh. Ah, uh -huh. good, good. And especially you have fighter stance, neutral stance here. Not too much angle, not too, all right. So the stance is bladed a little bit. There you go, good. Uh -huh. Yeah. Hey, yeah. yeah. Try that left teeth, left control to the hip. Uh -huh. Boom, right teeth up. Uh -huh, good. You know, try that again. Uh -huh, good. Mm -hmm. A little more control here. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. There you go. And see that little push, just that little push that's going to rock my pelvic back, okay? All right. Yeah. Set my balance, okay? And it's enough to hold me, huh? Ah, not good. Uh -huh. good. Good. Ah, not good. Okay, up. Beautiful, man, beautiful. And I can feel that, I can feel that. Even if I was here, so you can put me in position here, and I'm trying to shoot my head. Push, right? uh -huh. Uh -huh. Boom, you can go get that strike. And again, you can catch it here, anywhere above my thigh here. Because here my stance, so my stance is folded, my knee is folded, you're actually my thigh kind of gives them a resting point, okay? But even if my foot is back here, you can throw the hip, uh -huh. you can throw the hip right here to the front. Uh -huh. Good, uh -huh. there you go, good. All right, <laughs> you have that good control there? All right. Good step, good step, all right. Let's do one more, okay? Uh -huh. There you go, good work. Tips for just just for today is going to be teeping actually my striking leg. Here, okay, all right. So usually here, so let's say Cole's going to right kick. Uh huh. Bang! I just use my teeth, and I don't actually have to teep. I actually just put my foot up, and the arch just jams the thigh right there. Uh huh. So uh huh. Good. So I'm going to do it here. Uh huh. Uh -huh. All I have to do is just jam the thigh. Okay. All right. There you go. Yeah. Anywhere on the leg, actually. Yeah. But he's gonna use so usually we use you can do the same leg, just, just know that the foot has to has to tee out to an angle, okay? So yeah, so just know that, okay? Alright, so here. Bah, uh -huh, good. Uh-huh. Uh -huh, good. Uh-huh. Bah, uh -huh, good. So you see here while Cole's doing that, he's usually he's hitting the inside of my thigh. And the reason why is because the closer you are to my groin here, okay, all right, the less arc I have to travel. See, my foot here in itself travels from this high to this high, but my thigh here only travels this much. So you have more of an accurate target being closer as if you were going to try to, let's say, like, kick my, my calf, okay? There's more room for a yeah, too. Yeah, exactly, okay? So here, uh huh, oh, yeah, up, uh, uh huh, way good. Uh -huh. And up, pop, uh huh, good. Mm -hmm. Pop, uh huh, good. Yeah, pop, uh huh, good. Very nice, okay? So let's try with the left foot now, okay? Make sure you a good surface here. Bring it out, there you go, uh huh. Pop, uh huh, good. There you go, good. Good, huh? Pop, uh huh, good. So now we're gonna try it with the left foot, okay? Guess my left thigh, uh -huh. pop, uh -huh. nice, good. Uh -huh. so that one you can't really take the step because the kick's gonna be too fast. Uh -huh. so you just gotta kind of lift, pop, uh -huh. good. Just lift and jam it, okay? All right. Yes, there you go, good. Just so you're gonna try to push forward, so push forward. Yeah, it's almost, it's almost just like a, 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 a lift and, and uh, okay. in between a lift and uh, because really you're not trying, so like you're really not trying to kick my leg back, okay? Yeah. You're just really trying to thwart that uh, that push kick, okay? 
八，马上隔，马上，八，马上隔。So you're gonna go left hip here, all right, and then right kick, ba, ba, eh, good, mm -hmm. and up, ba, ba, away, uh huh, good, uh huh, ba, ba, ah, good, uh huh, yeah, ba, ba, ah, good, uh huh. All right, so now we're gonna go right side here, uh huh, right side here, left hip. Okay, oh, good. Mm -hmm. Again. Ba. Ba. Way. Good. So shards current. Drop. Yeah, right. drop. Uh huh. Exactly. Okay. Especially you can off. Uh huh. Because my, you know, my kick is going to reach back. Oh, good. Uh huh. Yeah. So I was trying to kick. Okay. Ba. Uh huh. Ba. Uh huh. Good. Mm -hmm. I'm try to time it. Ba. Uh huh. Good. Good. Uh huh. And just a few more. Uh -huh. Ah, good step. All right, good step. All right. So, Cole and I uh, work on our, our teeth. Now we're just going to work on the fundamentals of our knees. Okay. We know we have different types of knees and different types of knees for different reasons, okay? All right? The basic one we have been working on so far is just walk knee, okay? So here, I can walk in, bang, and just get that knee going in, okay? Now, as I knee, a lot of times in the beginning, people are kneeing straight up here. You see straight up only hits the side of your body, okay? If I can put a small diagonal into the knee, I can have more chances of hitting. So again, here, if I go straight up here, and getting this side here, if I put an angle, I can get to the center of his body. Let's center up a little bit. Let me knee Conor McGregor's face here for a little bit. Just so you can get a better angle here. Again, so here, my knee it comes up here, but I have a small angle, my angle, okay? Angle my calf out a little bit. And the same thing here. My knee straight up. You may not hit him, but here, bang. Small angle on that knee. So we want to make sure. We do that, okay, first in our, in our knee, okay? All right. When you learn it in the beginning, yeah, good, come straight up here. But if you can later, small angle on that, on the lower half of the leg, okay? Can you start trying to relax your arm as they throw it? Oh, so we'll go through that in just a minute. So this one's just walk knee, okay? All right. All right. So we'll just go through 10 of those, okay? Ready, one. There you go, good. Uh -huh. Two. Yeah, and point the toe back, okay? All right. Uh -huh. Three. Yeah, good. Four. Uh -huh. Good. Five. Uh -huh. Good. Six. Uh -huh. Good. Seven. Good. Uh -huh. Eight. Uh -huh. Good. Nine. Now Cole's gonna do it on the left side, okay? All right. Uh huh. Ready? One. There you go. Good. Uh -huh. Two. Good. Uh -huh. Three. Good. Four. Ah. Uh -huh. Good. Is it better to do a step or a switch? It's almost like a slide, okay? okay. All right. Because you're a close distance, okay? Ah. Uh huh. Eight. So that's our walk knee, okay? All right. Walk knee we usually do when we're further away, okay? The reason why is this, okay? So here, if Cole and I are fighting here, all right? He's too far away for me to grab. So if I try to grab in me, it puts me in a bad position. Okay? He can uppercut me, bang, okay? All right? So usually you can try to get in at the first knee, then we grab, okay? So if I get the first knee walking in, the second knee I grab here, bang, I can get that, okay? But leading in with the knee, we don't want to over grab, okay? Unless you're already in that close position here, we're fighting, and then you can grab right away. If you're already in that position, sorry, in that distance, that's what we're gonna do when we grab, okay? So the second knee we wanna do, is leads up to our second knee, is the grab knee, okay? 
So you just put one hand over the other, uh-huh. Good, okay. So a lot of times people here, when they do it, there's two different methods, okay? First of all, um, we want to make sure we do have, try to get neck control, okay? So one hand on the neck, the other hand on the neck there too, okay, good, uh-huh. So what happens, a lot of people try to get just grab shoulders. Uh-huh, shoulders is not a good way, okay? Because I can even turn off, even if you grab my shoulders here, I can step back and get out of it. But with neck control here, uh-huh, see, you're pulling me down, I have very little resistance on my neck. Then as you knee, you're pulling forward. Bang, good, uh-huh. So what happens, he folds my body and gives me like a T-bone car crash. All right, it's a telemarketer, I'll call you later, okay? <laughs>
He's sweating. <laughs> and again, we want to cup the head mm -hmm. and cup the back of the skull. There you go. So now. Mm -hmm. There you go. Huh? Mm -hmm. There you go. Good. And so he's viced my head here. How hard for me to get out. I'm hunched over, okay? He pulls as he knees. Boom. Uh huh. Boom. And see, as he does when he pulls here, see, I'm in a bad position. I, hard for me to punch. Hard for me to kick. I'm in a lower position. Stay here. I'm in a lower position. Hard for me to knee here because he's pulled me down here. My head is folded over. I can't really get the punch. I can't really get the knee. So he has the control on me to be able to do that, okay? But since I'm 60 years old, I'm not gonna let him grab me that long, okay? So here you're gonna take that position and we're gonna use skip knee. Bang, alternate the foot left and right, uh-huh. Now as you do here, Cole, all right, you're doing the right method, all right? Doing the right method here, you need to swing the standing foot back to generate more power. Uh-huh. Swing back more. Good, uh-huh, good. So again, the heavy bag is harder to, clean, harder to grab here, okay? All right, so we can't really vice it. But the idea, what we want to do is we want to get this, instead of doing this, see, I don't have a lot of heat on that knee, but I'm pulling the swing, fish, 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 fish. I'm pulling forward, my leg is swinging back, okay. forward, back, and I really drive that knee in there, okay? All right. So go ahead and call and try that. Now I need 20 of those, okay? Each or together? together yeah, we're gonna alternate left and right, okay? Dave, I like your dog. She's you like my dog? Annie Mae. Good stuff, go. Uh-huh. There you go, so good. And try to make it more horizontal, Cole, so that it just turns in like we did. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Drive to the center, though. Try to drive to the center. Okay, okay. So here, remember what we talked about? As we go here, when we go straight in here, we're asking. Sit. Drive into the center. Okay. Drive to the center, okay? Uh-huh. There you go. Leg higher. Good. Keep the leg back more. Mm -hmm. Lighter on your toes. Mm -hmm. Pull it in, Paul. Pull it in. Pull the bag in. All right. Are we okay? All right. Stop again. All right. Let's rest a little bit. You need to be a little bit lighter here on the toes here, okay? Box. Skip. Boom. See my fanny foot hit? Skips. All right. Don't land too close forward. Bang. 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 Hip here. Drives that knee right in there, okay? All right. 20 more. Dave's come off. Just watch him. Oh, no problem, brother. Uh-huh. Yo. All right. You want us to use a less sweaty bag there, okay? <laughs> All right. Go ahead, Cole. Higher, higher. We're swing the leg back higher. Mm -hmm. Be higher. No, swing the, the stand. Oh, okay. This leg here. See how high it swings. Okay. Ah, 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 ah. Okay. Okay. All right. Ready? Uh huh. Go ahead. Yeah. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, all right. So at least we have the concept of that, okay? We'll, pr we'll practice more on that, but this is like the most fundamental lock knee in Thai boxing. Once they trap somebody, it's almost game over. If you can't get out of that clinch, it's almost game over. But it's getting that alternate down. And then usually in the camp, right camp, we're doing 200, 400, 600, sometimes a thousand, but boom, boom, boom. Definitely changes your cardio, okay? Sure. All right. All right, in this in-depth session, okay? 
Cole and I went through the many different types of push kicks, okay, and the different reasons for them, and how, how, how there's just so many, and there's much more too, okay, there's much more, all right, and there are different uses, okay, so first let's just go through our basic push kick, okay, our basic push kick, again, we put the hand out there, same hand, same leg counterbalances, okay, good, uh-huh, good, all right, then we have the high teeth to the face, all right, the higher the knee goes, boom, higher to the face, huh? When you do that high teep here, we don't want to do this. Fold our head forward and making you think it's going to go higher when it's really not. But really, yeah, with his position right now, almost poker position here. All right, body hardly moves. They don't know where that teep is coming. Again, big insult. Slap to the face, okay, you teep someone in the face, okay? Then we work on short teep, okay? Short teep here, boom. So it's almost like an oblique kick, okay? Bang. And so here, Cole and I are trying to get in position here. Good, uh huh? He's too far for that knee. Uh huh, too close for a push kick. So he uses that. Boom, uh huh? You don't turn the hip so much. So here, uh huh? There you go. So if I take the position here, uh huh? Bang, okay? All right. There you go, good, uh huh? All right, so try to use that short push kick, okay? Then we worked on push kick to the thigh, okay? So here, uh huh? Thigh, boom, uh huh? He can control my leg here. Boom, uh huh. Good. So stand back a little bit. Uh -huh. Controls my thigh here. Bang. Good. That was the. That was. That's another one that we did for blocking the kick. With just my standing thigh here. Uh huh. Good. And see when he does that, he buckles my leg here. Harder for me to get control. Even if he put here. Uh huh. If I kick, buckles my kick too. Okay. All right. Then you know, cheek to the hip itself. Boom. Uh huh. That hip has good control. Wider surface, wider than the thigh. Uh huh. You can use that. Uh huh. But this technique here, as right, so you do, as we practice these Cole, we don't want to do this. We don't want to look at the hip, okay? So here, I'm here. Dang, I still have control. I'm still looking at you as the target, okay? So we train ourselves peripherally to be able to see what we're doing. Because if we do that, then we're going to miss everything that needs to be. So when you practice later on, Make sure here, eye is still at the target. Okay. You should peripherally know where the thigh is by looking straight, okay? We shouldn't, we shouldn't do that, okay? okay? Only do that when you're trying to trick somebody. I look here, I low kick. I look here, bang, high kick, okay? That's like a different game, okay? okay. All right. Then we also worked on side teeth, long teeth. Side, bop, uh-huh, good. And more of the toe here, uh-huh, bop, uh-huh. That's gonna be the longest teeth you have here, all right? Ah, uh huh, good, uh huh, yeah. Ah, uh huh, good. And like fighters like Samat Payakuril, he has side teeth, but he puts his toe straight up. He just gets a longer teeth here. So you have one that's long and then extreme long. Okay, all right. So you can do either one. Okay, depending where the distance is. Okay, all right. We work very briefly on just sliding that teeth in. All right, just very briefly on that. Boom. Okay. But then the knees, okay, we know we have a basic walk knee. Bang, good. And he's gonna walk in with that knee. Don't push it to pull the hand down too far. Okay, bop, there you go, good, okay? Because we don't wanna do this and expose for that hook there, okay? All right, use it when you walk knee here, I'm trying to control the head here, all right? So you do that to me, control the head, there you go. So even if you pull the head down, see when I punch, it punches me over, okay? And it doesn't give me good, power punching position. And the walk knee we do, okay, we're going further away, all right, because we don't want to try to grab from far away. We see a lot of amateur fighters in the beginning, they're trying to get that knee, they're walking in like this, boom, all right, or they get teeth, or they get parried, and then they get their knee, their hands parried, okay? Then the grab knee, here, one hand, uh, top, good, uh huh? Yeah, boom, he pulls me down here, as he pulls me down, he has like a T-bone car crash here. Good, same thing here. Ah, there you go, good, okay? All right, and then the lock knee, all right? Oh, sorry, then he also has the forearm control on that. Boom, uh-huh. So he grabs here, tucks his own in tight, bend the arm a little bit. There you go, good, uh-huh. So he has that forearm control, I mean, the tricep control on that, a little bit more advanced, but a little bit later, but just to know that it does exist, okay? And then the lock knee, two hands locked behind my head, based on my skull, uh-huh. Good, and I'm vices this far in, okay? See, if you don't vice, I can push out, okay? So if you vice this in, my neck, there you go. Mm -hmm. And you hop that knee in, okay? Good, uh-huh. 
So when you skip knee like that here, again, we're gonna try to remember to bring that foot back as far as we can to really drive that knee. The longer it travels, the more power it is, okay? All right, we covered a lot of things today, Cole, okay, all right? Cole's leaving for England, so he's gonna add that to his encyclopedia. Watch for him, two years in the MMA world, okay? Watch for him, all right? Cole Dollar, right? Yes. Cole Dollar, okay, all right. See you next time, all right? All right. When in the Los Angeles area, train at MuayThaiAmerica.net.